good morning. I have to, <laughs> I've got to put in the gel. Got to take, look at this guy. Look at that guy. Huh? Get down there. Get down there. Welcome back to Mishmas. I'm actually waiting for a phone call from the woman that I've been working with uh, on my MW wraps. And uh, we're just talking about the restock and timing and all of that and possible, possible future projects. So anyway, I'm just waiting for a call from her and then I've got to film a collab video, which I'm so excited for. You guys will have already seen it, but it is the one with Risa Does Makeup where I'm doing a full face of drugstore makeup. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and uh, wait for this call and then get to filming. Well, that was a fantastic call um, that I had uh, with my friend that's been helping me um, get my uh, wraps produced in Italy. And yeah, I'm excited for the restock. We talked about possible future projects. So I'm really excited for that, but I have to sit down and film. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that now. Well, I just came downstairs. I've got to turn on my Christmas tree. And for some reason, I woke up today and I felt like I had to look nice. <laughs> I don't know, I think uh, quarantine is finally getting to me. Um, but yeah, I just felt like, uh, I just can't spend another day in like sweats and like yoga pants. And uh, don't get me wrong, I do have pants with elastic waist um, because yeah, that one day I wore jeans, I was like, by the end of the day, I ripped them off. I was like, no more. Today, let's see, what are we gonna be doing? Today is Saturday. So um, Saturday is pancake day. My husband makes pancakes every Saturday. Uh, so we'll be having pancakes for breakfast. I'm gonna be slow cooking some ribs and we're, we're trying something completely new. My husband found a recipe for like cranberry ribs but we couldn't find any cranberry sauce at the sprouts we were at, but we could find tart cherries. I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have to add a lot of like sugar or molasses to it. Otherwise I think it's just gonna be way too sour. So we'll be doing that. Um, I have to run to the UPS store and drop off some boxes. My MW wrap sales um, have definitely slowed down, which is fine. I only have less than like two handfuls of uh, wraps left. So I'm ecstatic that they were so well received, but I do have some orders that I've got to ship out. So we'll be doing that. I probably will have some packages I need to pick up. I have some other packages I need to unbox. We can do that together. That's always fun. And that's it. Let's see, what time is it? Um, it is eight in the morning. So I guess I could start the ribs. Maybe we'll do that. And what I have are red tart cherries, whole pitted cherries in water. Yeah, like I said, I think I just need to add a lot of sugar to this. I personally am not the biggest fan of like sweet barbecue sauce. I'm more into like just hot, hot and salty. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's just not my favorite. I don't like like sweet meat. It just kind of grosses me out. So I'm just going to sweeten this until it's just not like super, super tart. That is our loose plan for these baby back rib, slow cooked cherry. Wow, I said that all wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Since I decided to put a white shirt on, <laughs> apron is very important. I definitely need more coffee first though. They're actually not very flavorful. Interesting. I'm gonna put in some ketchup because this has sugar in it and I also need like this thickness. Okay, we'll put that up. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll let that sit there for a bit. I'm gonna throw in a bit of mustard. Worcestershire sauce. Some red pepper flakes. Salt. Pepper. And interestingly enough, we actually have this dark cherry balsamic vinegar that we bought at a farmer's market uh, over the summer. So this will actually work out well. Oh, good morning, Butters. Hi. Decided to join mommy. Are you wanting breakfast? Are you wanting breakfast, baby? Give me one second. I'm gonna mix this up and then I'll feed you, okay? I do have some barbecue sauce. Maybe I'll just throw this in there. Let's see. Hold on, Butters. Mommy's almost done experimenting. I think I'm gonna put in some molasses because I do want this like thicker. You know, I want it more of a sauce and this does not look thick enough. Oh God. Okay, the molasses has been opened. I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon in there. Again, just as like a thickener. Like it still needs something. Let's see. I just threw in some garlic powder because I just feel like it needs a little something. It's missing something. Mm. Yeah, that's tastier. And a little bit more of the mustard, I think, will do it. Actually, I think you could use some minced onion. Let me get the slow cooker out and the ribs. So I just put the ribs into the slow cooker. I had to cut up some of the racks so that they, you know, would fit better. And then I have basically like the meatier side down, but um, I had to salt and pepper them. So I'm going to just toss some salt. And when you slow cook stuff, you definitely want to season a little bit more aggressively because uh, when you cook things for a really long time like that, it just breaks down. Um, you know, like flavors break down and everything. So you kind of want to just add a little bit, a little bit more than you normally would. And some pepper. And I'm gonna rub that in. And then, sorry, I have to wash my hands. Then I'm gonna add a bit of pepper to the other side. All right, so I'm just gonna pour the sauce over this. I'm just gonna make sure the sauce is all over. Move the pieces around a bit. And I'm just gonna cover it. Turn this on. I'm gonna hit this. And I'm gonna do low for eight hours. Yeah, it's about, what time is it? It's now 8.30, so, what is that? 4.30, we can even do it longer. But it's okay, it'll stay in here and uh, just stay warm. So, I'm just gonna hit start. So since I was down here in the kitchen and this is where like all of my boxes are sitting, I thought I would just do my unboxing now and show you some things that have come in, some things I've opened up, some things I haven't gotten a chance to. Um, so let me show you what this is. I've already forgotten. Ah, this is a box that I received from a PR firm and I didn't know who it was from and it's from Eve Loam. So wonderful skincare brand. Uh, it says happy holidays and these are some of the eve Lom essentials so let's take a look oh here's the box that it comes in look how festive that is and it looks like we have the facial cleansing cream uh, with a muslin cleansing cloth and then the moisture cream for face facial cleansing cream i know i've used the eve Lom cleansing balm but i think that's i think that's what it was called i don't know if i've ever tried their cleansing cream 
Oh, no, this looks like the balm. Okay, so I've definitely used this before. It has such like an invigorating, uh, like eucalyptus type scent. It's really quite lovely. Um, and then here, let me just show you the box. So here's the cleansing cream and then here's the uh, moisture cream and then there is the muslin cloth. Well, since I've used these products before, let's do a giveaway. So we'll do a giveaway of this Eve Loam box. I'll leave um, instructions down below in my uh, description box as to how to enter, but uh, we'll definitely be including this or I'll have uh, different ones, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what else I open up today. And then I got this beautiful box from Guerlain. I unpacked it from its outer like shipping box, but I haven't actually opened up this box, but isn't that so pretty? I love the ribbon, how it has this like fringe. Oh my, there's a card with my name, calligraphy in gold. Wow, that is beautiful. My God, this card is incredible. Look at this card. It has like a glittery, it almost looks like a, like a mashup between the Guerlain logo and their B logo. Wow, that is beautiful. Guided by the bee, our mission at Guerlain is to enlighten the world with beauty and above all, preserve one of our planet's most precious treasures, the bee. Oh, how awesome. So here's what the inside of the box looks like. Ooh, wow, okay. So there is the Abbe Royale eye cream. Gorgeous, I've never tried that before. Um, oh, the Repairing and Youth Hand Balm. Oh, wow, this couldn't be more timely. The Youth Watery Oil. This I actually have, I think I have a bottle of this. So this will be in a giveaway for sure. The Honey Cataplasm Mask. Oh, it's a sheet mask. Yeah, I've ne definitely never tried this either. Ooh, I'm so excited. I think I may do this. Oh, there's four of them. I think I'm gonna have to try this today. I'm feeling like, feeling like I need a mask. Wow, thank you so much, Guerlain. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous box. And then this is from, I don't know. It just says customer service, but it's really heavy. Let's see. 100% clean vegan skincare that's full of carefully chosen naturals and free of unnecessary additives. Oh, from Bare Minerals. Oh, look at this. Bare Minerals, the power of good new ageless phyto retinol collection. So here is the box. We've got four things in here. Let's see, we have a face cream, an eye cream, a night concentrate, and a neck cream. I could always use a neck cream. Wow, these jars are really, really heavy. Wow, this is very exciting. Thank you so much, Bare Minerals. This is really, really cool. And then, oh, I opened this up. Oh, this is from House of Siage. Oh my goodness. So I opened up the box, but I didn't actually open up, well, like do any of the unwrapping. So we've got, <laughs> Another amazing box for a house of siage in here. Let me see if I can get it out gracefully. Wow, it says, I'm so excited to share with you our, our entire collection of our house of siage trend parfum fragrances. It says the trend, the fashion of fragrance. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Wow, well, they weren't joking. Here is the entire collection. Holy smokes. Well, I'm not gonna take them all out and, <laughs> and sniff them now. And I do know I have some of these. So you know what? We will do a giveaway of some of these um, travel sprays. Oh wow, definitely of the number three and of the number five. I recognize these, I know I have these. Anyway, if you're interested in perfume, definitely, again, check down below in my description box. I think I'll just do separate giveaways for everything. I'll do an Eve Loam giveaway, I'll do a Guerlain giveaway, and then I'll do a House of Siage giveaway. And whoever wins a House of Siage giveaway, we can just kind of figure out like if there's ones that you want in particular that you're really interested in or whatever, we'll talk. We'll talk, so, oh my God, that is amazing. Thank you so, so much to House of Siage. That is incredible. What a beautiful box to get. Okay, and last but not least, we have, oh, something from Paracone, MD. Okay. 
It says, please accept our gift of the first ever Paracon MD luxury experience collection. Wow. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Here's a picture of it. Beautiful. Here's what the box looks like on the inside. Wow. Here's what the box looks like. I don't know what is like the top or the bottom. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. There's a drawer down here. The chlorophyll detox mask. How cool. Cold plasma plus hand therapy. And the, the top has all of these products up here. Okay, actually I'm gonna bring you down here so I can show you what is inside this box. Wow, we've got a cleanser, a serum, a neck cream, an eyelid treatment, oh, an eye cream, a moisturizer, an overnight moisturizer, and then there's this little flap in here It looks like, oh, there's the pump, probably for the cleanser, I'm guessing. So there's a pump, and then there is a dropper, which I'm guessing is for the eyelid lift serum. Wow, this is so incredible. Thank you so, so much to Paracone MD. I'm like sitting here looking at all the products, like what do I wanna try first? I think I definitely wanna try this eyelid lift serum. Could definitely, could definitely use a little bit of help there for sure. Wow, thank you so much, Paracone MD. Right, now I'm gonna clean up all these boxes while my husband makes pancakes. I'm so excited. Look at my pile of pancakes. This one on top looks like a little bear claw, doesn't it? Aww. It feels a lot like saying goodbye. Don't try it out. last time I picked up the camera but I've had a busy day I filmed a very long video this afternoon and then I edited some stuff so it's been very work intensive but the ribs are ready so I wanted to show you guys what they look like oh wow oops I don't want to steam up the lens oh my god that looks incredible it smells so so good and just <laughs> sauteing up some kale, one of my favorite sides. And I do have some leftover sweet potatoes. So I'll be having that uh, for my sides. Pretty much a broken record when it comes to sides because I have a lot of kale and sweet potatoes as my sides. But when it comes to ribs, it just feels extra appropriate. It feels a lot like saying goodbye. Good morning, everyone. It's really early. It's about, it's about 4.30 in the morning. I don't know. I woke up at like 3.30, which has been kind of normal for me the past couple of weeks, um, but not, not my regular schedule. I usually wake up at now between 4 and 5. Anyway, I woke up at 3.30 and I just kind of sat in bed for almost an hour. I just came down here to make some coffee and I got my blue bottle subscription box yesterday so I thought I would show you guys what they sent this time around so I get two bags gosh I already forget what my <laughs> subscription schedule is I think it's like every I don't know maybe three or four weeks I had to pause it because I had built up quite a quite a coffee collection so anyway they just sent this over this is called giant steps and let's see Cocoa, toasted marshmallow, and graham character. Oh my god. Here's a little card. So they usually send a little card with the beans that they send. Ooh. Ooh. Sumatran beans are my favorite. Absolute favorite. They're really just full bodied. Ooh, I can't wait to dig into this. I think my 
Oh yeah, my espresso machine. You know, I put the beans right into my espresso machine and it looks like it's close to empty. So this could be my second cup today, these giant steps. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Oh, I really like this. Excellent, another winner from Blue Bottle. And this is, I didn't even notice this, this is um, organic. Hello, so um, gosh, what did I leave you guys? With my coffee? Yeah, <laughs> probably drinking my coffee. Anyway, I walked Butters and I've come upstairs and I wanted to get my box together for Project Beauty Share. I set aside all this stuff for them, things that like totally were not used that I didn't think would be good for like giveaways or whatever and have created this um, box and it's <laughs> it's actually uh, the pro there's too many products for the box that I picked so I actually grabbed a bigger box I'm gonna pack that up and then the next time I have to go to the UPS store which is probably gonna be sometime today because I'm actually waiting for a foundation to arrive um, it's the Gucci foundation my original tracking was I'm trying to think I was I think it was for Mon no it was for last Friday. That's what it was. it was. Supposed to come last Friday and I figured, okay, I had content planned for the whole weekend. I'll just put the Gucci Foundation review up on Monday. Uh, still haven't gotten it and it is Tuesday today. So I just checked the tracking and it's supposed to be coming today. So with that in mind, I'll be making a trip there and I figured let me pack up this box so I can ship it off to them. It's probably going to take a while to get up there because it is like the most horrible time of the year, but for shipping, the most horrible time of the year. Um, but I figured let me just do it and get it out of the way. Okay, this is the box of stuff that I have for Project Beauty Share and you can see it's just not, it's too small. So I actually grabbed this large priority mailbox from USPS, hopefully it'll all fit in here. Saying goodbye 